Liberal MP Bob Ray is on his way home to Canada after being denied entry to Sri Lanka earlier today. Officials detained him at the airport in Colombo after intelligence agents determined his visit was not suitable. That's the, their words. And they accused him of being a Tamil sympathizer. We've reached Bob Ray at the airport in London, England, where he is in between flights. He joins me now by phone. Mr. Ray, thanks for joining us. Just tell us why, what reasons did they give you for not allowing you entry? Uh, into Sri Lanka? Well, my visit was approved by the, the Sri Lankan Foreign Office uh, and, and uh, it was all arranged. Uh, so uh, I, I think what's happened is that the Army, the Army takes a very different view of life uh, from the Foreign Office <laughs> and, and uh, the Army has uh, d determined that, uh, uh, you know, they described me in one, in one email that I saw that I was described by them as a, quote, an LTTE supporter, which is frankly ridiculous if anybody knows what I've, been, what I've said over the years about the LTTE. So, I mean, I think it's just a huge um, misread by them, a big overreaction on their part, and, uh, and I think uh, it really reflects very badly on, on the situation. I mean, look, I mean, I'm, a, uh, you know, I'm an MP. I can, I can get a platform. I can make my case. I can fight back. But there's, there's 300,000 very vulnerable people who are being interviewed now and assessed as to whether they are uh, LTT supporters and if the if the net catches me it's going to catch an awful lot of other people so the military uh, the military has accused you of being a Tamil Tiger supporter um, what did you hope to achieve by going to Sri Lanka right now well uh, what I was there to do was to, uh, I've been involved in Sri Lanka over the years I was very much involved in the peace process a decade ago which lasted for a few years and I've kept up my friendships and contacts. Uh, I was scheduled to meet with a number of officials in the government, as well as uh, with NGOs, uh, people in the relief field, High Commissioner for Refugees, uh, other people who are uh, directly involved. So uh, it was all set up. I mean, this was not a surprise yeah. visit or a last-minute visit. It had been planned uh, for some time. And uh, I'm, uh, frankly, just dumbfounded at, at what's happened. But it's really caused me to reflect... Uh, on uh, what's taking place in Sri Lanka, the way in which uh, uh, the president and, and, and the, his two brothers, the Rajapaksa brothers, have, have uh, uh, I think, taken politics in a very different direction from uh, from where it had been in Sri Lanka. And, and uh, that, I think, is something everybody's going to have to think about. I understand. You went through all the diplomatic channels. Uh, you did everything by the book. Now you've been denied entry. For that to happen to a Canadian politician would be serious in any country. Does this create a diplomatic row, a diplomatic problem now between Canada and Sri Lanka going forward? Well, my, my visit had the strong support of, of the Department of Foreign Affairs. I mean, mm. uh, the minister knew about it. Uh, I met with his staff last week. Uh, I was on the phone with the High Commissioner regularly. There were two officials from Foreign Affairs who were with me throughout this uh, this 14-hour uh, experience, and 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 they're, so they're all aware of it. And I'm sure there will be a reaction from them. Uh, I, I think we're all just you know a little dumbfounded mm -hmm. and now trying to assess what it means. But it's really not. It's it, it, this isn't about what happens to an MP who can't get into the country. It, it, it's what it's what does that say? about the openness of that country, the willingness of that country to engage. I mean, we're sending a lot of money to Sri Lanka. We're engaging with them in a variety of ways. Uh, I, I do find it, uh, frankly, astounding that, uh, that this is how they would treat, uh, you know, officials from other, uh, from other countries who've had a, a long relationship with their country. And I'm betting you're not done with this yet. Mr. Ray, listen, great talking to you. Thank you. I know you're between flights. You too, so we'll, let, we'll let you go so you can get back to okay. Canada. Take care. Thanks. All right. Bye. That was bye Bob bye. Ray. He's the Liberal Foreign Affairs critic. We spoke with him by phone. He's in between flights at Heathrow Airport trying to get back to Canada after the uh, government of Sri Lanka refused to allow him entry into that country, even though he had gone through all the diplomatic channels.